to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, National Anthem Bill 2024, SB 461, first reading. Distinguished colleagues, National Anthem Bill 2024, SB 461, first reading taken. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, the second business of the day is the presentation of a bill standing in the name of most distinguished Senator Osita Ngo on the Private Investigators Regulation Bill 2024, SB 136. Mr. President, you may wait to invite the Clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished Senators, Private Investigators Regulation Bill 2024, SB 136, first reading. Distinguished colleagues, private investigators regulation bill 2024, SB 136, first reading taken. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, the third business of the day is the presentation of a bill standing in the name of most distinguished Senator Kaka Sheo Lawan on the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 Alteration Bill 2024, SB 192. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the Clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, the single senators, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 Alteration Bill 2024, SB 192, first reading. Distinguished colleagues, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999, Alteration Bill 2024, SB 192, first reading taken. Clerk of the uh, uh, Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, the fourth business of the day is the presentation of a bill standing in the name of most distinguished Senator Comrade Tony Nwoye on the National College of Health Technology Commission Establishment Bill 2024, SB 333. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the Clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, National College of Health Technology Commission Establishment Bill 2024, SB 333, first reading. Distinguished colleagues, National Colleges of Health Technology Commission Establishment Bill 2024, SB 333, first reading taken. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, very distinguished senators, the first order of the day is the second reading of the National Anthem Bill 2024, SB 461. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I move that the Senate you suspend its rule 78 sub 1 in order to read the bill for a second time. I so move, Mr. President. Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. I'd like to second the motion moved by the Senate Leader that we suspend our rule 70 sub section 1 to allow us to take this matter. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Colleagues. Those who are in support of the motion as moved say aye. And those again say nay. The ayes have it. Leader of the Senate. Thank you, Mr. President and our distinguished colleagues. It is with great sense of responsibility and patriotism 
that arise to lead the debate on the general principles of the bill for an act to provide for the national anthem of Nigeria and for related matters. You are all aware that Nigeria, at its independence in 1960, adopted the national anthem titled Nigeria We Hail Thee. The concept, phraseology, and the ideological connotation of this anthem conveyed and epitomized the significant historic heritage of our dear country, Nigeria. The bill was read for the first time earlier today, being Thursday, the 23rd day of May 2024. The anthem upon rendition inspired and simulated deep sense of patriotism in Nigerians. You will also agree with me that those who were around in the 1960s and the late 70s would attest to the fact that the anthem played quite a significant and crucial role in shaping Nigeria's national identity and unity, as well as engendered high sense of value and personal belonging amongst the citizenry. It was symbolic of Nigeria's rich cultural heritage and nationhood. In retrospect, the anthem served as regular and constant reminder of our journey as a nation and provoked feelings of nostalgia and fond memories of the country's early years. Mr. President, my dear colleagues, at this momentous time in our national history, it is imperative that we utilize any platform that seeks to unite the country and promote patriotism among Nigerians. Accordingly, the old national anthem as a symbol of national pride has provided insights for patriotic reflections on our aspirations, values, and hope for a united and prosperous Nigeria. The rendition and musical accuracy of the anthem is better in content and context than the current one. On this note, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, permit me to reproduce the anthem to serve as a reminder and reflection. Nigeria, we hail thee, our own dear native land. Though tribe and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we stand. Nigerians all, and proud to serve our sovereign motherland. Our flag shall be a symbol that truth and justice reign in peace or battle honor, and these we count as gain to hand on to our children a banner without stain. O God of creation, grant this our one request. Help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed. And so, with peace and plenty, Nigeria will be blessed. Mr. President, my respected colleagues, this bill seeks to make provision for Nigeria to revert to its old national anthem that will promote better symbol for unity, peace, and prosperity compared to the current one. The new anthem, Nigeria, the new anthem, if passed, Nigeria we hail thee, will yet again inspire in us the zeal to build a fully integrated and indivisible nation where all citizens will live in unity and harmony. Finally, I implore you all, my distinguished colleagues, to support the expeditious passage of this bill as it is in line with the renewed 
reorientation of our collective values and national conscientization efforts of the current administration. And this appeal to all of you to support this bill is by extension also being made to the Nigerian public, who I believe will participate fully in the public hearing that will be conducted by the Senate on this bill in taking a final decision. Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, I thank you for your time and attention. Uh, yes, this is Senator Mangono. Okay. Distinguished President of the Senate, Senator Godwin Obot Akfabio, Distinguished Senators, my name is Mohamed Tair Monguno. I represent Borno Senatorial District. The bill sponsored by the leader of the Senate is apt and germane today, especially against the backdrop of the fact that the national anthem that is currently in use is a product of a military junta, which is not a product of consensus at idem of Nigerians, and therefore does not reflect the wishes and aspirations of Nigerians. Because it was decreed by a military junta. Now that the Senate, as representative of the people, the bastion of democratic values and norms is responsible and responsive to the yearnings of Nigerians. And this bill, when first into second reading, it is going to be subjected to public hearing whereby all Nigerians will come and ventilate their opinion as to the pros and cons of the bill, as opposed to a military junta with all its attendance, draconian and obnoxious way of governance, decreeing it or forcing it on Nigerians, this bill is going to be subjected to public hearing, which is intended with our democratic norms and values, and Nigerians have the right to say whether we should retain the present national anthem as it is, or go back to the national anthem with amendment. So this bill is apt and germane, and I support it to go for second reading. Thank you. Get it to go for second reading. Thank you. Yes, Senator Ezra. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Uh, <laughs> the President of the Senate and my dear distinguished colleagues. My name is uh, Okechuku Ezia. I represent the people of Enugu North Senatorial District. <clears throat> I rise to support the bill that seeks to reintroduce the old national anthem of Nigeria. This is a national anthem that is what it should be. A national anthem is supposed to evoke emotions. These days, you don't find our children singing the national anthem with emotion and with acceptance. The old national anthem is an anthem is like a battle cry. It urges us to love Nigeria. It urges us 
that Nigeria is a united and that we are all brothers. The current national term is drab. It evokes no message, it carries no message. I therefore urge my colleagues to support this bill to ensure that we get back to where we started. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, uh, distinguished Senator Johanna Emmons. The area I want to speak about is the area of the participation of the entire country. And this is the democratic process that when something comes up that affects the nation, Nigerians should be given the opportunity to decide. And the good thing about this bill is that for once, the entire nation will be brought together under a democratic process to decide the national anthem. And because of that, one very important principle, I support this bill to be read the second time, so that Nigerians across board, the entire strata of the society should be invited and be involved in deciding what becomes the national anthem, which at the moment we are considering a revert to the old one. And so because of this principle, the Nigerians will be involved from all walks of life and the entire strata of the Nigerian society. I support that this bill be read the second time so that Nigerians will be given the opportunity to say what they want. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, distinguished Senator Odende. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Emmanuel Memga Odende. I represent the very good people of Benue Northeast. Mr. President, my dear colleagues, I stand to support the second reading of this very important bill. A closer look at the anthem reveals the following. It shows our history, it reveals our diversity, it urges us to serve in honesty and in truth. It ends with a prayer for God to bless us. As a child, at the time this uh, B, I mean, this anthem was changed. 1978, I was in my final year in the secondary school. And the only reason was that the, the first anthem was given to us by the colonial masters. I think that should not be a good reason to change anthem. And I urge my colleagues to support the second reading of this bill. It is also going to public hearing. I think it's a good bill, and I urge that all of us should support it. Thank you. This is which, uh, Senator Jimo Ibrahim, PhD <laughs> Welfare. Thank you, Mr. City President your common Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My very distinguished colleagues, I will make specific contribution to this bill ably brought by our Senate leader. And we must thank him for taking in this direction. As a matter of fact, the national item says, arise, O compatriots. Who are the compatriots? That word, compatriots, is elusive. In, Mr. Senate President, I take indulgence of your leave to cite Lord Denny, 
in the case of Seaford Estate against Asia. Our laws are not instruments of mathematical prescription. If it were to be so, our literature in English would have been poorer. The words are elusive. They serve no purpose. So if you say, arise, O compatriots, what about the non-compatriots? Are they not part of Nigeria? But if you look at the old, old item, it says, Nigeria will heal thee. It talks to the mind of Nigeria. It starts with elevating Nigeria in its value. And a country, national item, must talk to its value. So, Mr. 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 President, I lend my, 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 my golden voice. Point of order, you yes. will continue. Thank you, sir. Yes, leader. Thank you, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues. I rise pursuant to order eight sub three of our rules to move for an extension of time to enable us to see beyond 2 p.m. so that we can conclude the item that we have on the agenda. I so move, Mr. President. Yeah. Yes, the minority leader. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. I write the count the motion by said leader that we amend our rule to sit beyond 2 p.m. to enable us to complete important items on the other paper. I so second. Thank you. Distinguished colleagues, the motion has been moved and seconded that we do extend our time to sit beyond 2 p.m. Those in support of the motion say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Yes, distinguished Senator Jimo Ibrahim, continue. Thank you, Mr. Senate President. The point I'm making is that it's about value creation. Nigeria already we have converging complexities around many issues. The old national item talked about brotherliness. And this is very important. If I do know you are my brother, you know I will take care of you. I will be there for you in difficult times. I will hold his for you. And I will ensure that we live in peace and harmony. And to summarize this, the new one is saying, arise, O compatriots. What about non-compatriots? Can't we convert them to become compatriots? And that's why I said, this language is elusive. And it's not good for any reason. The, uh, the Niger uh, Nigeria we heal the, talk to the mind of Nigeria. Talk to our, our taxonomy that we are healing this country, that this country belongs to us, that we hold this country in faith and in healness to agree in agreement. That three, four languages, words, they mean a lot. They are completely at variance with arise who compatriots. So I take offense, and that's why I cited Lord Denny, that our language is not an instrument of mathematical prescription where one plus one is two. Words are elusive. We must try as a nation, as a Senate, to rise above elusiveness of language. So this new national item is not solving any problem. And lastly, if we are to go empirical to data, my colleagues have said it here. Let's create, let's conduct data and find out how many secondary school children can recite our current national item of health. You will see that we are far behind. So I think. The only way is to help our nation to grow is not to add to the complexity converging around our national development and our historical value. One of my colleagues talked about native. We cannot lose our transgenderic value. We come from somewhere. I'm from Ibotako. I'm an Ikale man. I shouldn't be, I should be proud of it anywhere I go. I must come from somewhere. And lastly, Mr. President, in, until 1914, like I said in my regions, this country have no name. There's no name called Nigeria until 1914. But this country was in existence, dated 1400, where people were doing mental issues in Hidari and due to all other part of the Confederation. So I want to say very clearly, there was peace as at that time. There was unity of purpose. But since 1914, when we come by the name Nigeria, those values of yesterday cannot be said to be repugnant to the doctrine that we practice today. I urge you, Mr. Senate President, my very distinguished colleagues, to conduct public hearing as rightly suggested. Let's hear the view of other Nigerians and let's move this country forward in a way that the classical approach to modern development 
of yesterday cannot be completely eluded and it cannot be said to be repugnant to the doctor of natural justice and equity. If we get the national item right, we get Nigeria right. If we fail to do so, I'm sorry, we are added to the complexity that converge around us. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, the same Senator Omer. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. I rise to support that this bill be read for a second time, and I align myself very strongly with the lead debate presented by the Senate leader. The national anthem of the year, that's the old one, which we are seeking to bring back is a national anthem that meets all the ingredients of a national anthem. One is that the national anthem is supposed to evoke love on your nation. The citizens should be able to look up to the nation, Nigeria, as their own country. And that is why the opening is Nigeria we held the in other words, we are placing Nigeria above all considerations as citizens of the country. Again, national anthem is supposed to be motivational. The words contained in the old national anthem are motivational, quite motivational. Apart from putting to bear our history, our composition as a people, it emphasized brotherhood above all things. Whether you are from any part of Nigeria, no matter the tongue you speak, you should be able to see the next person that is a Nigerian as your brother and embrace him. So it is contained in this national anthem. Again, when I was growing up, Mr. President, I looked up to Nigeria as a symbol of my life because we recited it in the primary schools in the early 70s, and so on and so forth. When we had national competitions, when you go to national competitions, that is when you will see the quality of this old national anthem. When you sing it, once there is a match Nigeria is involved in, the national anthem of the competing nations will be sung. And when it comes to that of Nigeria, everybody will rise up that we must carry the day. So it is motivational. And if you look at it, you will see that very great matches we have watched in the World Cup. Nations of the world who are in the competition get charged. Their players get charged once they sing their national anthem. One national anthem that I have watched in the World Cup do magic in a match was that of Germany. When they sang that national anthem, at the time, Germany was down. But realizing that the integrity and the pride of the nation was at stake, Germany rallied from behind. Even Rumenige, wearing a very saggy short necker, was able to mobilize his people and they carried the day. So national anthem must be motivational. And I think from what my colleagues have spoken, it is very clear that the current anthem um, is, my brother said is elusive. My own is that it is vague. In content, there is nothing in the current national anthem that mobilizes our people to action. So I support that this bill should be read for a second time because it arouses patriotism, and a call to defend the nation at very challenging and competing times. So if we bring it back, I will tell you that our children and all of us will be more committed to realizing, realizing the ideas of nationhood. It's just like what this, the Mr. President said some time ago. He said, we must recite the national pledge at all times. That national pledge was an attempt by Mr. President to bring back 
commitment of Nigerians to our nationhood. So this old national anthem carries everything together. And if we bring it back, I'll, I'll tell you that anybody who is doing anything anywhere will first of all know that he's a Nigerian. If you want to do anything outside Nigeria, you want you want to bring shame to the country. But this is a country by our anthem we hold so dear. Nigerians, we held you. So I support this, and I believe that when it goes to public hearing, we will be able to harvest opinions of Nigerians in this regard when the issues involved stanza by stanza are extracted. So I thank you, Mr. President, for this. May we read the bill for a second time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would like to uh, uh, go between the old and the new. Uh, so this is a plan. I don't know whether you were born when this anthem was in place. <laughs> uh, uh, please off your mic. And then, uh, so if you, I don't know whether you were born that time. Were you born? Yes, sir. Okay, you raise your hand and say something. Thank you. The President of the Senate, my colleagues, I am Senator Dick Etlang, Senator representing Plateau Central Central District. President of the Senate and my colleagues, I rise to bring to our attention very clearly on the motto of Nigeria, unity and faith, peace and progress. Unity can only be acquired when there's brotherhood. When there's brotherhood, there's unity. And what brings us together as a nation is like in the local arithmetic. In the local arithmetic, you have components. You have, impro you have improper fractions. And for you to bring improper fractions together to form a whole number, you need an LCM. For Nigeria to be united and to be one, to bring the component of this country to make up a whole number, you need a lowest common multiple. And the lowest common multiple that will bring us together is that we are brothers. Though we have diversity, by the end of the day, we are binded by the fact that we are brothers. The reintroduction of brotherhood in our national anthem is very fundamental. I am coming from Plato, and as a senator from Plato, I try as much as possible in settling issues to take away issue of tribe, but to bring to it that though we are different, we are binded together. In the early 70s, sir, we were told in the primary school, when you are singing the national anthem, the headmaster will tell you that even if it is scorpion that bite you or sting you, you cannot shift to scratch because you are singing the national anthem. It is real conscient. There is a lot of reconscientization when you pick the language of the national anthem. I would not want to say those that re-edited or those, the 1978 national anthem is bad. But languages are dynamic. There are times that some words are very important at time T. When you look at where we are today, brotherhood is a great language for Nigeria. Brotherhood is a great language for Nigerians. And if we remove first and we look at Nigeria, as the title is, Nigeria will help thee. That is to say Nigeria comes before any other thing. My brothers, it is not because someone is presiding, but probably let's look at the wordings 
and then look at what variable do we need to add on the Nigerian anthem and the way Nigerian anthem should be, should be sung and attended to. Sir, this bill also spoke about the Nigerian flag. Sir, you go around, you find Nigerian's flag tattered. I believe that by the time Nigerians come to agree, would probably get him back to the former one. It, there must be an intention for Nigerians to respect national symbols, the flag and the anthem. Arise to just bring our attention that brotherhood we stand. Though, though we have tribes and different tongues, Though there are tribes and different tongues, that, though there are tribes and different tongues may differ, but we are binded by the fact that we are brothers. May we remain brothers. May we know this. If we know this, we will be united. And when we are united, there will be faith. And when there is faith, Nigeria will have peace. And when there is peace, we will progress. May God bless our country. Amen. Father, as you were talking, I recall when the young lady, uh, Amosan, I think, won the Hodos gold medal at the Olympics. When the national flag was waving, a lot of people were in tears. I think it will bring back, because even here in uh, chapter 2 says, our flag shall be our symbol. Our flag shall be our symbol that we are Nigerians. So it also talks about the fact that truth and justice should reign in our country in peace. Even in battle, we must honor that flag. We count it as gain to hand to our children a banner without stain. It's almost like a, a commitment with a prayer that God of creation should grant this our one request. God should help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed. And so with peace and plenty, which we have in abundance, Nigeria may be blessed. On that note, I'd like to recognize the civil senator Zam. Your Excellency, the uncommon president of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my dear colleagues, I am Senator Dr. Titus Tatengezam, and I represent the people of Benue Northwest Senatorial District. The Senate President, in view of the overwhelming support this uh, bill has enjoyed from my colleagues, I adopt all the arguments in favor of the bill that should be read for the second time. I so support Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Distinguished colleagues, time is not on our side. We have heard from all, and I want to thank you all. Distinguished leader, uh, leader of the Senate, uh, I want to thank you for bringing this bill. And uh, maybe because I was born in that era, and not in the Gen Z era. Uh, the Senator Asukwa, please get back to your seat. And, and then I want to hear your voice from the young, younger generation. You were not around when this anthem came, but having read through this, uh, the wordings of this anthem at independence, uh, compared to what we are having today, what is your opinion? Please. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, um, I may not be, have been there. My, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Asukwe Peyo, Senator representing Cross River South. While I may not have been there when this anthem was changed, I'm a student of history, and I know that um, it was done during the military era. 
I'm not sure how much consultation was done during the process, but I think this is an opportunity for us to have a wider and broader consultation with the general public and the people who we represent. If this is indeed what they require at this time, and if the wordings of the previous anthem resonates more with their beliefs, their emotions, and their understanding of Nigeria today. So I would, I would call on not just the Senate, but the entire National Assembly to do wider and deeper consultations, engage with the people who we are here to represent as we move ahead with this uh, very important subject. Thank you very much. So in your opinion, do you want it to go for a second reading? Because you just finished uh, a political speech. Uh, uh, you finish a political speech, your generation does not understand the importance of having independence. But I want you, I want you to uh, tell us, are you in support of this bill going for a second time, a second reading, or not? Yes, I am. You are? Okay. Giving the opportunity so the students to colleagues, public, having listened to hearing. all and sundry, I would like to put the question. Those who support that this bill be done a second time, say aye. And those again say nay. The ayes have it. <laughs>